Hello, my name is Maria Pellicano and I'm a vocal coach. Over the past 20 years, I've been working with singers, actors, presenters, speakers, trainers, CEOs and entrepreneurs, essentially anyone in the business of leadership and influencing others to take action. Now, whether that's on a webinar or in a podcast on a stage or on a phone, there are three things today that I want to share with you that will remove the limitations and help audiences and people around you embrace what you do more powerfully. Number one is that you should never shout. Don't shout to be heard. Don't shout to build credibility and don't shout to feel that certainty. You need to project your voice if you want to have a stronger voice. You need to free it up. When we shout, we distort our sound and we become unclear and muffled. And audiences have to work twice as hard to understand you or sit there with their fingers in their ears because they're remembering being shouted to in the past. We don't need to shout. We must project, but not shout. Number two is, have you ever heard of those with behavioral flexibility have the ability to control the game. So we need to create variety in what it is that we say when we lead and we influence. We need to have lots of different troughs up and down movement in our voice. And as we speak, what happens? Audiences will engage at that emotional level that is reflected in the tonality. And this makes everything a little bit more exciting as opposed to having that mono voice or that stuckness in your throat and you feel like you cannot express what it is that you really want to. And number three is when you speak, you should speak from your soul. Find out the why, the reason why you're wanting to pass this message on, the people that you're serving and how you can impact and serve them. Your audience will feel your passion and they will feel that you care about them when you connect to your soul. So for your message, you need to engage with yourself and present it from your heart. That will affect your tonality and people can always feel the tonality more than your words.